uh, the madness and the decision making in all of it. Rob Palenka and this man, Magic Johnson, who caught up with our own Ali LaForce. Magic, first off, congratulations on what you consider a very successful trade deadline day. Walk us through your number one goal coming into today and how close you got to achieving that goal. Well, we wanted more cap space in our first round pick. And I, and I told Rob, I said, look, man, I'm, I'm telling you, you got to pull off some magic for us, right, to try to create even more space than we already have in terms of the cap, make it even, even healthier. And then if we can get a first round pick, because we don't have one uh, in this draft. So Rob went to work and uh, he, he did an excellent job of bringing us back both. But at the same time, too, we got to give up really two really good players who are young, uh, who Laker Nation came to love. And uh, so Cleveland is blessed to have Jordan Clarkston and Larry Nance. So they won and we won too. And so uh, we're excited about the future of the Lakers because with Look, we're in 11th place. That's, I, I'm not happy about that, right? But I understand we have young players. But in, unless we get a superstar in the NBA, if you don't have superstars, you, you can't win in this league and you can't be in a playoff and you can't go for championships. And I understand that. So I made that this move based on that, that we have the ability to attract free agents to come play in Los Angeles, play for the Lakers. When you and Rob were talking this through, how did you envision IT fitting in with this offense? And do you have plans yet, or do you have to see how it goes this year with his long-term future with the franchise also? Yeah, I think you, you hit it on the head right there. It's like this is the style that he's comfortable with playing because we're right. fast. We go up and down. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's where he excels when it's up and down. He's, he can create... Also, too, I think our pick and roll play will be outstanding for him, especially with Brooke Lopez, because he can step back and shoot. It's almost like him and Horford were when they were in Boston. So it's the same thing because Brooke can do the same thing, step behind that three-point line and hit the, the, the three-point shot. So we're happy about IT, but we also want him to come in and mentor Lonzo at the same time because he's a veteran. He's been to the playoffs. Lonzo hasn't, so he can teach him a lot. Also, just how he works, how he goes about his craft. So I think that he can also mentor. I had Norm Nixon do that for me, and that's very important when you're playing the point guard position in today's NBA. And then I think Channing can also you know, spare the court for us too. So we got two excellent players, and we'll take a look and see how uh, IT performs and Channing performs and see if we want to sign them back after mm -hmm. the season. But uh, we'll let Luke decide how who plays. But Lonzo is our starting point guard, and uh, he'll be out there. But we're excited to have both IT and Channing. And just lastly, Magic, you pour your heart and your soul into this organization. What do you want to say to Lakers fans about the potential future for what we have going and, and uh, the excitement? It's, 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 it's on now. You know, we, we're <laughs> excited, <laughs> you know, because this is what you need. You can't come back unless you have flexibility. Just look at Boston. If they didn't have that flexibility with their cap and with uh, draft picks, they couldn't uh, bring in a guy like, uh, you know, that other guy that they got from Cleveland, I, <laughs> I, I, I can't say I can't say names no anymore, right? <laughs> but uh, but they're they're back because of that player. And then you know you think about how uh, Miami to be able to get two guys to come in and sign with the guy that they had, and then they turned I into A, B, and C. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> the big three. <laughs> But they had everything they needed, flexibility. They have um, draft picks. Guess what the Lakers have now? We have draft picks. We have flexibility. And so I think that uh, we're well positioned. Um, and uh, this is an exciting day for Laker Nation and for me and for Rob and for Jeannie Buss. The main thing is Jeannie signed off on it. And uh, so it's hard for her because she cried. You know, she's, she's attached to these guys, you know, to every player. She just... Her heart and soul uh, goes to these players and to the fans. And so, but she understood what we were trying to do and what we want to accomplish long term. Exactly. Because we're not playing the short game, we're playing the long game. Yeah. And so, this is going to help us long term. Well, congratulations and thanks as always for your time. And thank you. You know, I saw her hanging out early this morning <laughs> outside right. our facility. You know, we had her outside, <laughs> but we got her inside That's now. Right. You right. know how it is, you got to put in the work. Exactly.